Customer service done right can be your company's single biggest competitive advantage. Welcome to the customer service revolution. Join customer service authority and best-selling author John DeJulius as he interviews leaders who are revolutionizing their industries. This is more than a podcast, though. It's a movement. The customer service revolution is a radical overthrow of conventional business mentality designed to transform what customers and employees experience. If you're a revolutionary customer service leader who's ready to stop competing on price and obsessed with building a brand that people cannot live without, this podcast is for you. Welcome to the Customer Service Revolution Podcast with John DeJulius. This week, John digs into the question, what has a better ROI, advertising or customer experience training? This week, you'll learn what it says about leaders when they don't invest in customer experience, how sales is a lagging indicator of the level of customer experience your company is providing, how a large percentage don't accept advertisements as truth, how brand recommendations from friends are more believable, how a 5% increase in customer retention can increase your company's profit by 75%. 80% of your company's future revenue will come from just 20% of your existing customers. And how Tesla gets away with spending $0 on advertising. Now here's your host, John DeJulius. The companies that don't invest in customer experience have leaders who are stupid. I put that in who don't understand the financial impact it can have. That's true. And maybe someone in here, right, has to go back and convince. So I'm going to give you some ammunition. And sales is not proof. Sales is not a predictive indicator of future business. Sales is a lagging indicator. Right right now, if you're part of the revenge spending, you're thinking we're great and we're always going to be busy and, right, it's not going to happen. So what language do leaders speak? ROI, return on investment. And we have to put it in that language. And how do you do that? You put it in the language of ROX, return on experience. So here's how you explain that. But we got to get to dollars. Not just, yeah, it's warm and fuzzy. No, dollars. Carter Mario is a longtime client of ours, law firm out of Connecticut, several locations, love them. And like a lot of attorneys, their number one source of new customers was ads. Yellow pages back then, billboards, and I'm sure social media today. So this is like a graph is a year before they started their commitments. And Blue represented word of mouth, where the source of new customers came. And Carter Mario is, is certain clients, I want to make sure we touch on them, that don't have repeat business. Where's Bush Funeral Home? Right? They don't have repeat customers. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you don't. Injury attorneys, hopefully you're not, you know, getting in a car accident several times a year. Waterproofing. There's a lot of industries. LASIK eye surgery. Hopefully it's not a repeat customer. So you got to create alumni, different business model. So look at this. Word of mouth represented, I don't know, 30%. And at paid advertising represented the bulk. And within five, six, seven years, that number was flipped. Think of the money they saved by driving, you know, the customer experience and saving on advertising. Budget battles. You guys go through it. Everyone goes through it. I need more money in my department versus yours. The budget battle between advertising and customer experience. I mean, oh, all right. Low hanging fruit. You got to earn it with a little energy here. Whatever you want to do. What do you think globally the annual spent on advertiser or customer experience? What's more? The answer is 500 Bill, $500 billion spent on advertising, $9 billion on customer experience training. All right. Is it the right use of your money? Let's find out. What's a better return on investment? 
75% of people today do not accept advertisements as truth. 90% believe brand recommendation from friends. Repeat customers, think about your business, you can track this, spend significantly more than new customers. New customers don't trust you yet, right? It's a first date. Repeat customers love you and they're giving you everything. Repeat customers refer more. You can track that than new customers. Repeat customers negotiate less. They don't come at you with oh, how much and did it and price up you. Typically, in order to replace the value of one new customer in most of our businesses, you have to find five or you have to get, acquire five new ones. People don't come out of college with a CXO degree. That's why the Customer Experience Executive Academy was created. When you're tasked with designing, leading, and managing the customer's experience, there's a lot at stake. We know you want to make a difference in your organization, and we also know how difficult it is to do that when you aren't sure what to tackle first. The Customer Experience Executive Academy gives enrollees the tools to efficiently create an impact as a customer experience leader. Our graduates are taught a simple framework that allows them to create customized solutions within their business. You'll implement systems throughout the year-long program while learning and sharing best practices with your fellow classmates. For details on how you can enroll, contact Claudia at thedejuliusgroup.com or schedule a call at tdg.click forward slash Claudia. Those of you in sales, three types of sales, cold, warm, hot. Smoking. Where do they come from? Well, cold is I'm reaching out to you. Hey, do you need, do you need, do you need, do you need? Right? Warm is, you might have seen an advertisement, social media, billboard, yellow pages. They even have yellow pages. So, so you've seen that, right? So you're, you're reaching out to us based on the ad. But guess what? SEO, you're reaching out to other people too. I'm not the only one you reach out to. Where's hot? Repeat or referral. I love doing business with you, or my brother, sister, best friend said, I have to do business with you. Price sensitivity, unrealistic, right? They don't even know they need you, cold. You have to first convince them they have a need for what you sell. Advertising, better be giving me the best deal because I Googled, and these are the five people I'm calling and seeing who sells it for the best deal. They don't care. I love you. Whatever it is, I, I, I'm buying a Tesla next year. I'm, you know, getting the Apple iPhone 13. Don't care. Or my brother says, I have to hire you. And what's the close ratio? Long shot, win the lottery. Medium, if you're willing to give the best deal, extremely high. And more importantly than all that is the sales cycle, right? The time spent of nurturing, trying to convince you to sell you on why, why, why. The first two are really high, and the third one, there's no sell. You're coming to me saying, I got to have you again or initially. 5% increase in customer retention increases a company's profit by 75%. 80% of your company's future revenue will come from just 20% of your existing customers. So let's see how this plays out for the most valuable car company in the world. Who is it? Tesla. When's the last time you've seen a Tesla ad? This is Elon Musk's tweet. I hate advertising. Pretty clear. Well, let's compare this. Tesla spent on advertising is the lowest of all the major car companies. Wait, let me correct that. It's not only the lowest, they spent zero. While Ford, GM, Fiat, Toyota spent billions. Tesla spent zero. How's it doing? They're the number one valuable car company in the world. Let's take it from another successful entrepreneur that built his company up and sold it to Amazon for $1 billion. 
whole philosophy is let's take most of the money that we would have spent on paid advertising or paid marketing and rather spend it on that, invest it into customer service and the customer experience, and then let our customers do the marketing for us through word of mouth. The great late Tony Shea, founder of Zappos. So here's your smoking gun. Here's how you convince yourself or your boss you can figure out a 5% change in the following. What does it mean in hard dollars? 5% change could be 5% better or worse. 5% change in customer retention. What does that equate to revenue profit? Negative or positive? Got to look at it both ways. If 5% of your customers refer more people, or 5% less. Close ratio, back to the sales. We close 5% more of our customers. Sales, customer complaints. If you can get your customer complaints down by 5%, now it's freeing up your customer service reps to take care of customers calling for orders, appointments, whatever that may be, and not only having to spend all day putting out fires. And a 5% change of where you get your customers from. Advertising versus referrals. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give the Customer Service Revolution podcast a thumbs up and write us a review. To hear more episodes, subscribe now on iTunes, Spotify, or your favorite podcast app. Thanks for listening and for being part of the Customer Service Revolution. Revolution.